Fortnite Chapter 3 is officially ending on December 3rd, and after months of Chrome consuming the island, our showdown with the Herald is finally here. If the Chrome takes control of the Zero Point, it'll spread to every universe in existence, ending reality as we know it. The seven who protected us time and time again have vanished, leaving us with no one to rely on until now. After three years, one of the most important characters in Fortnite history is set to return, and it's looking like the only way to defeat Chrome is with gold. This discovery was made by the Paradigm, who has been searching for answers ever since she escaped the Herald's attack. In the past few weeks, we've learned that Chrome was gifted to the last reality by a mysterious being called the Nothing, and right now, there's not a lot of ways to fight it. But luckily, Paradigm has made a crucial breakthrough. This week, she said, reality as you know it is going to end. The zero point has gone dormant. I need to wake it up, and I think I know how. So we're told to ask Agent Jones about the Loop Breaker project, which has been swept under the rug by the Imagined Order for almost three years. After downloading the files for Paradigm, we deliver them using the Reality Tree signals. Whatever is in these files is the answer to defeating the Chrome, and this is where Midas comes in. He was the one who built the device to destroy the loop and free everyone on the island, but ultimately was shut down by the Imagined Order. Just before his plan failed, we're teleported to a random office, and it's here Agent Jones reveals himself and the rest of the IO for the very first time. There's even more evidence of the Loop Breaker and Midas connection with an unreleased spray in the files named Silver and Gold, showing Chrome taking over his hand. Even though this is exciting on the surface, it gets crazier because this exposes the secret weapon that'll be used against the Chrome. Midas has been cursed with the Golden Touch, and just like the myth it's based on, this means anything he touches turns the gold. This curse has already taken over Midas' body, so what would happen if Chrome tried to consume him? As you can see from the spray, it looks like the two elements will battle it out, foreshadowing exactly what'll happen in the Fracture event. It doesn't make sense for Paradigm to create her own Doomsday device because the loop was destroyed in the collision event. This means what she's really after is the person who built it. We know Midas' crew is still on the island thanks to subtle teasers, but when Donald Buster posts a video saying Midas is great and not dead, it all starts lining up. But there's another secret you gotta pay attention to, because Fortnite accidentally decrypted a cosmetic that reveals a big part of the live event. After Fracture, we'll earn a backlink called Zero Fragment, which shows the zero point being surrounded by Chrome. Once the island's been covered, it makes sense that this will be the Nothing's final target, but the description shows what's actually going on. It says, initiating zero fusion, which is incredibly important as it reveals the final plan of the last reality that'll make them unstoppable. After fusing the chrome with the zero point, it'll spread to every single reality in existence until there's nothing left. Because chapter four is around the corner, it is pretty safe to assume that we'll defeat them, and I think I might know how. The back bling is called zero fragment, which means that this is a detached piece of the orb. It's possible that the chrome actually starts to fuse, making it too late to stop the spread. At this point, the only option left will be cutting the zero point into pieces. Not only does this explain the fragment, but it might also reveal the true meaning behind the name of the event, Fracture. And fusion isn't the only thing confirmed by Epic. Thanks to the latest update, we know exactly what to expect when December 3rd rolls around. Right now, Chrome is surrounding the pregame lobby, but when the event starts, it'll be 10 times more powerful. Everything will turn to slow motion as your squad gets abducted, and this could mean that the whole island is already covered in Chrome when you join the game. If Silver Goo doesn't seem scary, that's because Fortnite has plenty of tricks up their sleeve. In the loading screen from last month, we could spot chrome zombies in the background that had glowing eyes and honestly, they look terrifying. I'm almost certain these guys will appear during the event and we'll have to fight them off just like the end of chapter two. The files also mention stargazing, which will let us look up at the sky through a huge telescope. Will there be a battle in the air or are the last reality gonna be summoned again, bringing the cube's cradle back to the island? Right now, the stars are incredibly important, not just because of these files, but also from what we've been hearing all season. NPCs are constantly saying stars are disappearing, and with Donald Buster's Twitter header showing a red lunar eclipse, it makes me think there's a lot more to it than we realize. In fact, the new map is codenamed Asteria, which is ancient Greek for, you guessed it, the stars. So, for anyone wondering where the Chapter 4 island might be, I think Fortnite is telling us to simply look up. In the lead up to the event, we also watched as No Sweat Insurance begins its evacuation. All the locations that are insured now float in the sky, with everything slowly moving towards Sanctuary. I think that these platforms will merge together to create a huge POI, serving as a viewing area for the event, similar to the whole heli carrier from Chapter 2. In the trailer for the new World Cup skins, you can see people on a floating soccer field, and it's not a tilted towers, instead this has been relocated to Sanctuary. As we look down at the island, Chrome is obviously going to flood the map, but what are the consequences? 
consequences of this. Anything it consumes, it also controls, as we've seen with the Herald's Wolves. Once you're taken by the Chrome, you become part of it, which could spell disaster for one huge reason. There are a ton of skeletons on the map, like the remains of Colombo and the Devourer. If the last reality consumes the whole island, that'll include these bones, and we already know that Chrome has a healing power. I'm just saying they brought back the mech, it would only be fitting for the Devourer to return as well. But if we're talking about surprise appearances, there is one person who most people would consider the main character of Fortnite, but he is nowhere to be found. The only thing left of the Seven's infamous leader is his statue, which has been covered in Chrome. Of course, I'm talking about the Foundation, who was the first person to go missing last season. We saw the other members of the Seven during the trailer, but it seems he's been forgotten about, or so we think. After three different maps and 22 seasons, there is only one thing that has survived throughout, secret bunkers. The first time around, the hatches were revealed as ancient tunnels that led to the bridge. For chapter two, this came in the form of the redacted bunker, which wasn't opened until the last few weeks of the season and turned out to be an IO facility. Now we have the foundation statue on top of a concrete base where the door is sealed shut. We have no idea what's inside and with only two weeks left until fracture, we are running out of time to find the answers. Even though the statue is filled with chrome, there's only one part of the entire monument that remains untouched, the door, confirming that the people inside are safe. It's possible that somebody's in here, coming up with a last minute plan to save the island. Now that we know the floating POIs are heading to Sanctuary, it makes this theory even more credible, and I'm hoping that when these doors finally open, it reveals the answer to defeating the last reality. Or maybe, just maybe, this is actually the door to our escape and the brand new Chapter 4 island. There are tons of things that could cause a new map to appear. If the zero point does become fractured or split in half, it might cause the island to be reset just like in Chapter 1. Or the fragment that broke off could create an island of its own. Well, we could spend all day talking about the endless possibilities, there are confirmed characters and events that'll take place in Chapter 4. The main question on everyone's mind revolves around Geno, who hasn't been seen since the collision event. At the end, Jones and Foundation chase after him, and the comic showed us exactly what went down. They watched as the Imagine died in Geno's arms, and as he slowly accepted his own fate, he relinquished control to Zero Point to Foundation. They believe this is where Geno died, as his body was split into millions of pieces and scattered across reality. But at the end of the comic, we watched as he slowly puts himself back together, atom by atom. That is why it's taking so long for him to return, and he won't be the only villain to reappear in Chapter 4. Dr. Sloan was crushed in the collision event, and despite all of the evidence pointing to her death, it turns out this wasn't the end of her story. In a recent Epic Games survey, you could find a new version of Sloan who has superpowers, and while sand powers might sound underwhelming, it has played a huge role in the past. In Chapter 2 Season 5, the Zero Point created a desert after it was exposed. We even saw an unnamed reality for a few seconds in the Zero Crisis finale, with purple crystals, realistic graphics, graphics, and a mysterious cult. There's a chance that this plays a large role in Chapter 4 and will kickstart a new era for the Fortnite storyline. We'll just have to wait for Fracture on December 3rd. This has been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.